unboxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. On August 27th, two former world champions, Jose Pedraza and Richard Comey, will battle it out to decide who gets another world title opportunity and who fades away. At this stage of their careers, this fight is the most important because it'll determine if they can still fight with the best of the best. Sniper Pedraza ran into his first obstacle when the young and powerful rising star Gervonta Davis took his IBF Super Featherweight Gold by knocking Pedraza out in seven. Afterward, the sniper would reload and make the move up to lightweight where he embarked on his mission to win another world title. After winning his first two matchups in the new division, the man standing in his way was WBO champion Raimundo Beltran. And just like he did in his first world title shot, he won in convincing fashion, achieving his goal of becoming a two division champion. Not taking much time to celebrate, Pedraza went for unification against the fastest three division champion and WBA Super World Lightweight title holder Vasily Lomachenko just four months later. While he fell on the wrong side of a unanimous decision, he bounced back with his own knockout win and moved up to Super Lightweight to take on world title challenger Jose Zepeda, losing another tough decision though. Pajaza would follow that up with three straight wins, including a stoppage win over the undefeated knockout artist, Julian Rodriguez. That earned him another chance to get back into the title picture against former unified 140 pound champion, Jose Ramirez. Pajaza showed a lot of skill in that fight, but couldn't overcome the former champ, losing on the scorecards once again. Hence why this fight against Comey might be his last chance at world title gold. A man who started his career in his homeland of Ghana had to find the motivation to overcome major obstacles to make it as a professional boxer. Comey brought to the sweet science what his mindset needed to be to succeed. Never back down. RC would go 24-0 with 22 knockouts before earning his first world title shot against Robert Easter Jr. for the IBF strap. In a back and forth affair that had Comey scoring a knockdown, he would fall on the wrong side of a split decision. Three months later, he traveled to his opponent's backyard, world title challenger Denis Shafikov, losing another split decision. Three months later, Comey was back in the win column with three straight victories before getting another world title shot against Issa Chaniyev for the same IBF belt. This time, he didn't let it slip dropping Chaniyev three times in under four minutes and finally becoming a world champion. Staying active, he successfully defended his championship with another stoppage win over Raimundo Beltran, the man who beat Pedraza less than a year earlier. From there, Comey had his toughest test to date against the rising sensation Teofimo Lopez. In the second round, both fighters went for punishing right hands and the only thing that mattered was who landed first. Unfortunately for RC, Lopez's fist got there quicker. After suffering his first knockout loss, Comey battled back with his own highlight reel stoppage over Jackson Marinas. That earned him another world title shot against another familiar foe to Pedraza in Lomachenko. Comey was ultimately outboxed throughout the entire match, but still managed to make it to the final belt. Just like Pedraza, this is Comey's final chance to get back to the world title picture. Time and time again, They've each showcased when they are pushed into a corner, they will find a way to break out. On August 27th, it's time to prove it once again. <laughs>